When I attended my first AIDS conference, it was in Geneva in Switzerland, I was so surprised to see the difference between health reporting in the developing world, particularly Africa, and in the developed world, you know, um, United Kingdom and America. And one of the most obvious differences to me was that it's much more of a medical beat in developed countries, where if you look at health reporting in Africa, it comprises of far more issues. The medical side of health reporting is really just one aspect of it. Um, there's a lot of women's health issues that you report on. There's a lot of social issues like access to water or people relying on social grants, orphan issues, domestic violence. And yet the Mail and Guardian specifically, we definitely don't view health reporting as something that is strictly only about medical issues or just health policies. We take a broader look you know, at social issues. I don't think any media house in Africa would be willing to just pour money into health reporting without having a bit of assistance from the outside. And having said that, it's not just, you know, in Africa, if you look at something like The Guardian in, in, in London, the entire development desk is funded by the Gates Foundation. So, and, you know, development um, reporting would be a large part of what they do in terms of health reporting. So these sort of softer beats or what editors often perceive as softer beats is something that often needs a bit of help from the outside to get going initially. So if you want to sell a health story that is not an obvious story like a minister saying something to a news editor, you're going to have to make a special effort to help the news editor to understand it because it's often about technical issues. And the way to help the news editor make help him to under, or her to understand it is to give it a human face. To, if it's a policy issue, say about our national health insurance in South Africa, then you're going to want to have a patient to explain, you know, what is the situation at the moment. And the thing about that is that first of all, it's a more time-consuming issue because it finds it takes time to go and find a proper case study. It takes a special sort of writing skill to incorporate that with a policy issue. You may need a bit of narrative journalism skills to incorporate it. And you also need special knowledge. You need to understand the health policies and the science behind it. You need someone that is especially trained or experienced in health reporting because that person needs the skills to explain it to an editor of a newspaper to sort of give it space. And that's different from just reporting on a political issue that would just be news anyway.